Alrighty, so today is Sunday. So you know tomorrow I gotta get cracking, right? Because it's Monday. But having some coffee. And what's funny is it's one o'clock in the afternoon, but I'm still drinking coffee. So I love my coffee. But anyway, this video is not really about my coffee. Be sure to join the Discord down in the description box below. I'm also, this time of year, I'm happy because, and this is not trying to represent any sort of brand, but the Nerds Bumpy Beans. I call them Bumpy Beans, but they're jelly beans, and they got the little bumps all on them. These dudes, bomb. Bomb. I can't help it. I, I have a sweet tooth that's really bad, and every year we wait for this time of year and the well gets just like a bunch of bags of bumpy beans which ain't good but they taste amazing anyway you may hear some noise in there the girls are playing some sort of game on uh playstation so it's going to be a lot of roaring and screaming and everything else but anyway i got this ask her Schnelli, and it's from overseas and so this the title is uh I'm from Japan and I like black guys. Okay. And so I have often gotten people, because I talk about it on my Facebook page, the vast majority of the people on my Facebook page are people who are either in a Blasian relationship or uh, have been or whatever. The vast majority. There are a few who are people who are family that follow the Hershnoe uh, Facebook thing. For a while, that's the only one I really and truly used because I didn't want a personal, I have a personal one, but I didn't really want to use that one. And actually the personal one I closed down for the longest time. I it didn't close it down, but I kind of kept it private. And then I just kind of opened it back up recently and all of that. But the point is the vast majority are people who are in Asian countries, mostly women, there are some Asian dudes too, but mostly women who are in, and I've talked about this before, mostly in Thailand, some Vietnam, a lot of China, and some from Japan. And there's others, right? Cambodia, different places. And I often get dudes that will tell me, black dudes that will say Asian women are not interested in us. And you'll see it in a lot of Facebook groups that Asian women are not interested in us, the Asian American women are not interested in us, they're only wanting white dudes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And if you are in the Midwest, it's much harder. It's all about location, right? And I'll get to all of that, but let me read what she says, because I think there's miscommunication on both sides. But she says, hello, I'm from Japan and I like black guys. Now, some of this I'm going to have to... I had to read a little slowly because her, and she mentions that she can write English better than she can Japanese. Um, she uh, goes on to say, say that I've followed your channel for a while. Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, anyway, I followed your channel for a while. I like black guys, but they don't seem interested in Japanese girls. Um, I'm trying to decipher this because <laughs> some of it I'm not sure um, how to. I don't know. The sentence structure is not correct, but I mean, it's not her official language. Uh, she goes on to say, I live in an area where there's not a lot of black guys or black people. She had a person that went to school with her uh she mentioned something let me see hold on okay that didn't help me out at all okay anyway so she uh i know this guy from the school i go to um, and he was black. We were friends and I wanted to go out with him, but he did not seem interested. I met with him many times and thought that he would ask me out, but he never did. 
he moved back to the U.S. and uh, anyhow, it goes on to say that he liked her but felt that she would not be interested in him. I asked him why and he said because most Asian girls don't like black guys and he was a bit chubby. He was there for about six months. So I don't know what he was doing at her school or I, I, I don't know. But she said that he met him at her school. She's a college student. Um, so she said that she didn't think black guys liked her because of his reaction to her. But also she goes on to say that she told him that because she was only 45 kg and not with butt, I guess not having a big butt, that he would not be interested. I don't know what 45 kg is in pounds, but that, okay. So it goes on and goes on, right? It's, I don't want to spend too much time trying to decipher. But basically, the guy that she liked that was there in Japan visiting, she liked him. And she wanted to hang out with him. And they actually did hang out, but he didn't make a move because he thought, like some of the dudes here, that Asian women and Japanese women are not interested in black dudes. And they're typically interested in white dudes, which is true. Sorry. It, it is true. You're going to find more white guys with every race of woman than you will black dudes. Just in general, because it's more accepted, right? So I could see his hesitation. And then she also felt like he wasn't interested or black guys wasn't interested. Because later on, when I read this the first few times, later on, I think there was this perception that amongst some of the women there that that the Japanese women are not the frame that black guys like. So, you know, you may have interest, but they're not going to have interest in you. And so she thought that maybe she was not curvy enough for him to like. It ends up that they both actually liked each other, but no one made a move, so nothing happened. She goes on to say at the end that she likes American black guys and would love to live either in uh, Japan or U.S. Um what to do next time to not have this problem. Well, here's one of the things. In Japan, I know a lot of women don't like to make the first move. It's just a cultural thing, right? Um, and even here, there's a lot of women that don't want to make the first move because they feel like a guy should express interest and then go from there because women want to be pursued and they feel like it's what the guy should do. Guys, on the other hand, feel a little bit of apprehension because it's like you're not going to be interested anyway, so what's the point? But I am I'm always of the, the, the view that if you don't, you know, explore, you will never, ever discover. So if you don't explore something, you're never going to know what could have been. This could have been a situation where you had a great couple, but for whatever reason, he just felt like there's no point. And I guess she was trying to make the move by hanging out, like asking to hang out or going different places with him to kind of give that perception. But again, it's kind of hard because the, one, there's a language issue. Two, there's a nationality difference. For three, there's big cultural differences. So a lot of times folks are trying to navigate those and those are very big pieces. So he probably thought she was just wanting somebody to hang out with or to just for her to show him around. Who knows? But I've had dudes on Facebook, black dudes who will contact me and will ask the same thing, like hook me up with this person, hook me up with that person, or hook me up with this person. And it's like you have to do the pursuing. I'm not pursuing them. You have to pursue the person, right? Like, you have to put yourself out there and face possible rejection and see what happens. Otherwise, you're never going to find out. You're never going to know. Um, I think also, too, that there are different types of women, obviously, right? And different mindsets. Not all are going to think the same way. There are some Asian women who are not at all attracted or interested in white dudes whatsoever, 
And I think that's that misconception that there are some that, 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 that all Asian women are into white dudes because you see a lot of that, right? You see a lot of, especially here, you see a lot of Asian with white dudes, a lot of Hispanic with white dudes, black women with white dudes, a lot of everybody with white dudes here, right? You see a lot of that. So, and you see all that down the coast too. In the Midwest, I saw that. When I went to Milwaukee, you saw a lot of Asian women with white dudes, but when Noelle and I walked around, we got stared at. Um, and even the Asian women who were white dudes would stare at us like, what? What? It was a weird dichotomy there because different parts of the country, and in some of these Facebook groups, dudes are like, you know, Asian women aren't interested in us. And, you know, especially Asian American ones, they're not interested in us anyway. You know, you gotta get your passport and go overseas. I do agree, definitely getting your passport and going overseas to, to, to learn and discover new things and all of that, I think that's cool. But it is a wrong perception that Asian women, you know, are not interested in you unless you are going to another country and you're going to their country and they're interested in you. I disagree with that. There are a lot, I know of a lot of Asian women who are from the Midwest or down South or wherever, out West, out east who are were either born or raised most of their life in the u.s and they're interested in black dudes or they have dated black dudes so you have some that only exclusively date black dudes and i'll know some of those who were born and raised in the u.s there are others who immigrated to the u.s and that's how they feel and there's others who live in asian countries and that's kind of how that they that's just what they like they may have never dated a black dude but they're just curious about it um, you have some who will date anybody. It, it's it's just, and then you have those who absolutely would never give you the light of day. And that is the bulk. Facts. The, I, I feel, and for someone who, not putting myself out there too much, who really dated a lot back in the day, a lot, and I dated a lot of different types of women from different countries and different places and different, I could tell you the vast majority of the time, if you're a black dude, it's going to be very difficult to find women of any race comfortable to be with you unless it's a black woman in, in large numbers. It just, you're, you're dealing with a very small margin. That's just the facts. So with that said, it doesn't mean that it's impossible. It could be your location. And when you look at the fact that the vast majority are already going to count you out anyway, white Hispanic, Asian, they're going to count you out. Native American, they're not going to even look in your direction anyway. It doesn't matter the circumstance. You then have that small population that will only date black dudes. And those, when you start getting in certain parts of the country, are very small. Out this way, it's a little bit bigger. But in other parts of the country, it's very narrow. Some areas, it's more or less, what have you. And then you have those that's kind of like, whatever, I'll date whoever. It's still going to be a very tight situation because... If they're going to date whoever is cool with them, then you're in competition, if you will, with check everyone, <laughs> right, of any race. So you're still dealing with a very tight, tight, tight market of potential people who, A, are going to look in your direction and be receptive, and B, that you're going to be compatible with. So it makes it almost next to impossible. I'm not saying it's impossible because, look, I met Noelle and she was in indiana you know i dated a lot of asian women who and when i was in indiana so that doesn't necessarily mean in hispanic women and other that doesn't mean that you can't it just a lot of it is just stepping outside of your comfort zone and and, and inserting yourself into the women that will date anybody and literally you know uh, uh you know f f being confident Right. So and at that time, I was super, super confident, not cocky, but super confident. So that plays into it. But I think that in, in your circumstance, the person that wrote to me who's a subscriber and I appreciate the love out in Japan or any other country and even in the U.S., I appreciate it, um, would be to kind of make your feelings known. You know, if if I got, for example, instead of asking the guy blatantly, will you date me? Because a lot of women won't do that. If the guy is funny, just say, oh, you're so funny. I really love funny guys. 
or you know he may be doing art and you know you're super creative and i love your artwork i love guys that are super creative like that making it very plain mentioning so so his strong suits i would say oh i love those if that's what you feel oh i love that because it's kind of saying to him like i really like that and he felt like oh because in her in her thing she says japanese women like don't care about a guy's physique so much. Most don't, she says. Now, I don't know if that's true, but I do know that a good portion don't seem to care about. It's more about their their frame <laughs> that they're worried about. They don't care about the dudes. You know what I mean? Like if the dude is a little bit, you know, got a dad bod, then they don't really care too much about that. It's not so much like it is here. I think women here are a lot more judgier when it comes to frame. I mean, guys in general are judgy, but I'm saying women here tend to be a little bit more judgier in terms of what a guy looks like than in Japan, because I think it's more about them wanting to be with a, a particular type of person and not so much what they look like. Uh, and it, I could say that in other countries too. It's kind of that way. And so some dudes are like, well, they're not interested because I'm fat or I'm a little chunky or I'm a little short or I'm whatever. And it's like that, you can't take the same mentality of here and put it in other places because that's just not true. And you have a lot of dudes that tell them that, you know, on my Facebook page, it's evident. And these people feel confident in adding me or what have you. And sometimes I'll add folks too, because they know that Noelle and I are a family similar to what they either have or what they kind of want. And so a lot of times I tell folks like, I don't know these people. A lot of these people personally, I don't, but you should be confident enough to be able to say, look, you know what? There are potential opportunities that I'm kind of missing because I'm too scared to say something or I'm assuming something. And in this case, she assumed something that was incorrect and the dude assumed something that was incorrect. So I don't know what's going to happen in terms of, 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 uh, of these two, but <clears throat> in terms of me, I like a lot of different body types. So someone has a bigger bum, of course. Small chest, that's okay. Bigger chest, that's okay. Small buns, that's okay. It to me, it's like it's it it it's not. You can't just basically assume, right? You can't assume, and so I think that's the biggest thing that I try to to stress. To some folks is like you cannot just assume there are some people that are pretty broad-minded and you got to give them that chance to to express that yes hey guess what i am a little bit broad-minded it actually there's more to a person than just outward appearances this is something the guy should know or you know take into consideration it's more important to some people about the content of the person versus what you look like on the outside and for her, same thing, because she thought that he was basically interested in, you know, someone that was kind of voluptuous and maybe, maybe, but he also finds her attractive. And that's kind of the way that I am. You can be, you know, a size one to a size eight, and I'm cool with that. That doesn't bother me. There's some dudes, you got to be a size zero or two, and that's it. But to me, it's like, it's more about the, the quality of the person, right? So anyhow, I hope I answered your thing and how to prevent it in the future. I would just basically come in with an open mind. If you find some guy that you find attractive, tell him those things that you find attractive and that you really like and that, oh, I like guys like that. And that kind of opens the door a little bit for him to kind of push it through and just say, yeah, let me, let me give this a chance. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you comment, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Join the Discord down in the description box below. And until next time, I will see you. Take care.